Welcome back to Silver Run Forest on Farming Simulator 22 Platinum Edition for episode 13 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Right then, here's where we're at. We're still December 1, we are racing the snow. It's due about 3 p.m. Like I said, whether it's gonna settle or not, we will see. I have moved the beaverator over here to our open field where I've got a pile of stone. I have been putting stone through it and I've just taken and delivered a load of lime. While I was up at the North Sawmill, I had a load of wood chips up there. Because the production um, up there is still producing all the various different goods that I need it to. The little bit of wood chip that it produces goes into that little silo wood chip area. So I've got about 7,000 litres in here, but we've got a great demand at the fire department for wood chips. So it's a good opportunity, I don't know if this is going to work or not, to use this with our double rotators to tip all of this in and do wood chip. However, uh, where's my pickup? I need to change it over from lime to wood chipping again. Uh, I have also been Where's my... Hmm. If I lost that along the way, that was in the back of the pickup. Oh. I need to go and get it. Because I can't put wood chip through until I've um, changed it over. It's a good opportunity to... Um... Hang on a minute. Oh, I know what I've done. <laughs> I know what I've done. Doesn't matter. Well, it gives me an opportunity to show what I've been doing. I've carried on clearing trees, as I said I was going to. I've got another full lorry load, trailer load. Oh, that was the other thing. You know, I was planting trees at the end of the last episode. 
and I've cut down, what was it, 300 plus trees. I've done more now, obviously. Let's go down to our page there. We're at trees cut down 612. I've planted 241. I had every intention of replacing every tree. I hit 241 trees and it said, no more trees. Can't put any more in, got to cut some down first. So I can't replace like for like. I'm never going to get to a point where, but as I cut down more trees, it will allow me to plant more, but I can't plant the same amount that I've cut down. It won't let me. So as we can see, we have cleared a huge area. I'm going to buy a new tractor today. And I say a new tractor, one I've used before, because I want the horsepower and I like the, the model. We are going to become a florist. And when I say florist, I mean florist, I mean a florist. We are going to be putting in a new flooring factory down there next to our middle sawmill. And I'm then going to be getting a plough and we're going to be ploughing this out. A big section of this to create our own field, which we're going to be planting cotton in. So we're going to be working on the forest floor. I know it's a tenuous link, just go with it. Um, so that's fully loaded. I've got a load of logs up here that I can take elsewhere. I've also taken two full piles of logs down to our little sawmill down the bottom there. That's now up to about 75,000 litres plus. I've got a load of um, pallets of planks good to go. So that's kind of where we're at. That's what we're going to be doing. I want to do this wood chipping first. Then we'll get the flooring factory put in and then we'll go and get our tractor. Then we'll get some um, ploughing done. I'm probably going to need to fertilise, probably going to need to lime, which means I'm going to have to buy some actual farming equipment, which I don't own yet because I haven't had to do any. I haven't got seasonal growth on, which means normally it wouldn't let me do the cotton now, um, but I'm going, to, I'm going to do it because I haven't got seasonal growth turned on, so at least I can get it underway and get it growing. I still don't have any fabric pallets yet, and I have delivered some flooring to both I think I did it to both the roller coaster and the boat yard and I bought down some metal rolls I forgot to film that bit apologies for that and also coming back I was I've got two more logging contracts ready to go logging delivery contracts that is I was driving back past the little, little sort of play area picnic area just as you come out of the town I've driven past that so many times doing the various different blog contracts and I, I must be up over 35 now I guess of doing the uh, logging missions and I suddenly out the corner of my eye glimpsed what looked like a wooden artifact and it was indeed a wooden deer I think I've already shown those pictures probably already been up if it hasn't I'll put it up now but it, if it has um, so like I said I'm not hunting them out but if I come across them I will grab them so they can be returned back to the uh, museum so that's what I did. So we were up another 50 grand on that. So it will help to pay for a load of the bits that Bob's doing. Customise. We need to go from stone to lime from to wood to wood chips. Let's customise that. Thank you very much. Let's move that out of the way. That will get taken back and put away for us. Oh, actually, I don't want it to be taken away because once I've done the wood chip, I need to turn it back to lime again. So I'll leave it there for the time being. Let's hop in, start it up. We are extended. Let's turn that on. We now need to move the trailer underneath. I'm probably going to, I don't know, honestly, what, what wood chip we're going to get from that. That actual log container, log carrier, has worked out so much better than that, that little lizard miner, which I thought was going to be brilliant. There's a little bit of jostling of logs, but not horrendously, which helps as well. Let's put it about there, that should be all right. Can I still get the wheel loader in? Probably should have gone the other way. Let's get the lights on. And we can actually finally test to see whether or not the uh, tilt is going to work or whether I'm just going to lose logs all over the place, which is what I'm more thinking is going to happen. It'll probably take some as soon as I tip it in. So what we need to do, we're on the first rotate, so we want to rotate it that way. Let me switch to the second one and rotate it some more. So the question is now, when I take the straps off, will they all slide in? <laughs> you know what? That worked way better than I thought it was going to. I thought we were going to have real problems there. Come on. That one's going. And that one I'm just going to have to chop, I think. 
but wow I have to say Michael you legend so we've got a full tray load I'm sure there'll be some more we swing that one back to there did I not tilt that one enough? Yeah, I did. That one back to there. We're good. This will need to go back over so I can put more small logs in as we do them. But I'm going to put it over here for the time being. So we'll need to switch back over so I can do some more lime work. So let's drop that off. And I'm like, wood chip, I'm so pleased how well that worked. That was absolutely fantastic. Off to the fire department and then like I say we'll put the flooring factory in we'll get that sorted I did also I can't remember if I video did I record it I can't remember now um, I took a full load of iron ore and restocked the iron furnace and then what was left I took and sold and then so I should just go to the main road shouldn't I And then I went back up to the, the um, mine and the, I've got another full load of 48,000 litres sitting there ready to go and the mine is producing again. So I'm, I'm pr pr it's producing far more ore than I need um, as I'm moving forward, which is brilliant. And, and it does give me the option just by putting a different cell point that I can't... No? No? Nothing? Okay. Maybe I should have had that on. Yeah, so it, it does give me... Uh, the option to sell what's, what I've got over the top whereas the flooring I seem to be lacking that's why I'm going to put another flooring factory in I'm just waiting for anyone that's done any of the uh, various different sawmills sod them sucked um, if you get a chance <laughs> um, I know people are trying to update and they're submitting stuff and I know giants have said that um, why is that now not one to one load Good. I'm sure I'm still on, am I not still on the tip side left? I was. Is that switched? Let's swing over this side and see if it's on the tip side right. Oh, okay. Tip side right it is. So yeah, 1,200, so we'll get over 20 grand for that load. I'll go back and check the rest and see how we go. On the way back, we'll put, get the flooring factory put in. The pallets of planks that's being produced, I can lift them by hand if I want to, or I can use the various different bits of lifting equipment I've got. 23,132 for a load. That's pretty good. Beacons off. And then, yeah, tractor and, uh, and plough. I'll get that ploughed and... I've got enough rock already uh, on the various different places out and about. I don't have build stones turned on. I did it on Griffin, and I didn't actually have that much to do, in all honesty. Um, so I wasn't planning on doing anything with regard to that. Let's cross over here. Now, I've got this turned off at the moment, but like I said, I do have 75,000 litres in here. I've got, oh, it's another 12,000 litres of wood chips from there. Nice. I forgot about the wood chips from here. Where do I collect them from? Here, isn't it? I forgot this was producing wood chips with the great demand, and that's a result. I'm glad I stopped him. Stopped him. Stopped, stopped in on my way past. Um, yeah, so because that's producing planks quite quickly, and it will produce planks quite quickly, I've turned it off for the time being. So what we're going to do is, our factory is going to go in here, our flooring factory. I was going to try and put it in the gap between here and here, but I think with the various different triggers and stuff, it won't let me. So I'm going to put it out more towards the road, I think. And when we come to plough the field, that's when we're going to find out whether or not we've got any stumps. Which I'm sure we will have. I've got the uh, stump grinder. That's only leased at the moment. I probably should buy one, because I'm getting charged for that every day so I probably could do it by the stump grinder because I'm using it quite a lot so here's where it's going to be I suppose 
don't know which way around I want to face it though. And there we go. So what I'm going to do is a bit of landscaping because we've got off quite a few bushes and stuff. I wanted to turn it facing this direction, so from the road, people well, so people can see it. They can't necessarily see it, but it does also mean the pallets of flooring will spawn this side, and my dropping off point is this side. So as far as pallets being spawned here, it's easier for me to do a straight shot through to there to, to drop them off. Than it is if I had it if I had it turned around facing the road, I'd have to go all the way around the side of the building to get to it. It's a small thing, but I, you know, I just thought I would do that. So, our first step to being a florist. Now these don't take a huge amount. I noticed as well with the um, boat building and even the roller coaster. They reach capacity quite quickly, but I will put in what I can. I just need, it's a, like I said, it's a pity there's not on Silver Run or with the pack. An actual sawmill sawmill that does wood beams and the other things i know i can buy them right i think that's what giants did on here was they put in the fact you could go and buy them if you wanted to you know it'd probably be easier if i load this up to a trailer wouldn't it? anyway i'll put some of those in and we'll get some more flooring underway and then we'll get some uh so planks because I, I need more planks long I, if some of my productions require planks long and that would really speed up all of the productions. But because I'm I'm splitting my planks along between the roller coaster, the boatyard, I did put some into the other flooring factory there, and then there's other productions in town as well. I, I'm just not getting enough of them to really keep me uh, to keep me going, which is a pity. But I just have to make do what I'm not. Like I say, if I make enough money, I can go and buy some if I want to. So that's that in. I'm going to go and sort out these last wood chips from. Uh, from the beaverator. That sounds pretty close to the track here, so I'm thinking yeah, we should be right for landscaping. I, might, I own the land right up to here, so we should be okay. And those will go in. That will do for the time being, at least it's running. And I should be able to get some more. I'm going to go and get these wood chips. Oh, I need to deliver those logs. I'll do the wood chips first. I'll see you in a bit. We'll be back at the store. I'm going to grab a plough. I think I'm going to go for the Lizard 6M, 9M, and I'm going for the 9 metre. I'm not going to buy it. I'm going to lease it because I'm, I don't know. This is the largest open bit of land I've, I've that I own. Oh, that's that thing as well. I can sell that other plot back now, can't I? The hillside. Now I've planted trees on it, and I'm up to kind of my limit. There's also the plot over by the, the um, iron furnace that I had permission to, to log. Whoa, that was close. And he went in there. I could plant more trees over there, actually. So this plot up on the hillside, I've cleared it, I've replanted. That could be sold now as an ongoing concern. So in a few years' time, as these trees that are on the hillsides grow more, and then people can then cut those, and then the trees I've planted will mature, and it'll be a constantly rolling cycle. So what I can do, I haven't even thought of that until now. Uh, where are we? This plot here, 66 grand. So Okay. Right, so. I don't know how much we're gonna have here, but a little bit too far out. If it is indeed storing any. Oh yeah. It is. Still have a little bit left here. And I'll have to come back to clear that. Because I'll need to then switch over to line. Right. See you in a bit. I'm just going to take the logs. I thought I'd get those done now. Uh, so I've done a little bit of landscaping, just a tiny little bit around the uh, um, the floor factory, and I'm going to go. Um, this is. Let's be very careful. This is the uh, secret squirrel route into uh, into the sawmill. But a couple of times I've come so close to getting clobbered. If you just go to the left hand side of here, you can just cut down the side of there rather than drive all the way around. You can go across the tracks. <laughs> I was looking at the tracks to the right. 
<clears throat> damage. That should be, I think that should be another thing that should be included, should be, every time you have a crunch, when you crunch into something, you should get more damage on your vehicle. Not necessarily that it shows up, not visible damage, but the repair on your vehicle shoots up. You know, you get a sudden, you know, a jolt, an impact, you hit whatever it is you hit. Um, I think that'd be quite cool. Um, so, let's see what we're going to make. 82 grand! Lovely. Uh, that can go back to its normal size. Ready for doing log transport. It's a bit dodgy. You just have to keep an eye out for the uh, the flashing lights on the crossing. We'll be fine. So, back to the store. I'm going to be getting a John Deere 4755. This has been uh, supplied and adjusted by Dominic and I think we're going to be getting I said about getting the Lizard 6M there's also the um, Lizard Subsoiler 6MT 9MT um, that's the Black Sheep Modding one there's one by Rowdy Christie and there's one by Black Sheep Modding uh, actually I think so I've got more logs up there turn the beacons off no I'm going to get that there's a whole load of new options available for tyres what time is it now nearly 2 o'clock I need to get this ploughing done before the snow so, well, I mean, I could still probably carry on ploughing, but this is under, I think it's large. There is the Steiger quad track, of course, but it doesn't have front three bottlenecks. No, it's under medium. No, that's small. I'm not going to put you through the pain of having to watch me do all the choices. There we go, the 47.55, 108 grand, so nice and cheap. There's a couple of different options uh, now on this that it didn't have before. So anyway, I'm going to go through, I'm going to make all the different uh, amendments on this. This is going to help for A, doing the ploughing, for hauling various different bits and bobs if I want to do any um, kind of, well, using the devourer for stump grinding works quite well. The tractor I, I was you know, doing on the Volvo, it uses a fair bit of the horsepower. It just gives me a few more options and you know, allows me to move a few things around. So this is what I'm going to go for. I'll see you outside once it's done. So for 135 grand, we've got the John Deere 4755 Turbo. There's this one, you can have the Unreal up to like 890 horsepower. And it would go 96 miles an hour. Or the newer version added on, you can have the 890 horsepower that goes at 46 miles an hour. So you can have so on. But they also added on, like I said, various different tyre choices. I'm thinking because we're getting snow as well, I can always change this again later on. Wider front tyres with wider fenders, but also there's three or four, three, four different track options. So I've gone for a tracked one. I think that looks, and then carbon fibre? Oh, yeah, I don't know. I like it. It's not going to be everyone's cup of tea. And then we've got the uh, 9MT I went for, because I thought it would be a little bit quicker. And so we've got a clear beacon on top. That to get the field. Let's see how this pans out. It's a little bit better than the light. Oh, I like that a lot. I really do. So I'm going to do around the outside first. That at least is the plan. Then there'll be obviously then the, the pesky business of planting, putting the cotton in the ground and stuff like that. So like, so I've done a little bit of landscaping around the outside here. Not a huge amount, just kind of blended it into the ground. The concrete over by the road here was just a little bit. I couldn't quite get it where I wanted it to be. So what I'm going to do is probably, looking at the gap here, I'm probably going to go up the side of here until I hit the tree line up there and then go across and down. And I'm going to go probably directly across that way. because It gives me a little bit of space then for other things. I have to say other things. I don't want other things I might put in here, but you never know. You're moving forward. So let's drop that down. Create fields. I might go a little bit closer to the sheep pen. I haven't quite decided. Like I say as well, I don't know how much cotton I'm going to get off this field. Normally it requires a fair bit. Ah, oh, that's what I needed to do. Look at those two trees there. I need to clear them. Just remembered. Oh, that's gone off at a slight. Um, 
Come on, slow tangent. Actually, it kind of fits there all right, but we'll go straight here, I think. That's better. We'll head that way a bit, and I wanted to go level with the tree line. So what I'll do is the outside first, then I'm going to have to come back around. I need to remove some of these trees. Um, stump grinder or the devourer probably will be the quickest option for doing that. And I've said before, you can use that for wood chipping. It will do, it will do entire trees. It works quite well. I'm going to come around the top here and then we'll follow the track round on the way back. So what I want to do is have a more defined edge here rather than a sweeping curve. We'll go to about there. That's better. I can see that we're better. There we go. I'm going to follow that round. Utilise what we can. If I only get one cotton bale out of it, it's a cotton bale. Oh, that's got to go. That's got to go. There we go. I could have had fieldstone turned on and collected that as well. But using the hydraulic breaker, I'm getting stone. I've done a little bit of liming with that as well. It's not the build and end all, whether I do or don't. I haven't come across a, any... Uh, What's the word for it? Stumps, yeah. If you didn't catch my live stream yesterday, I am working on... Um, for some reason, when I went live the first time, I didn't put it public, juniors. And then the second time, it put a notification out to Facebook, but didn't put a notification out to YouTube, which I couldn't understand. I'm not sure why. Because I'm doing it from my phone. It's a little bit different to normal. Um, so I'm going to have to check that for the next time. If you missed it, I would you know, go and have a look. At it. I, I was I was uh, on a walk with um, Farm Dog, and we had a little bit of snow. We had about two inches of snow where I live, which I know compared to some of you guys out there is not very much at all. But for us, you know, it's pretty cool. So what we're taking for a walk out in the snow. Went to a place called Casterbury Park, and I did a little bit of the history of the park and stuff like that, which was nice, and a bit of a wander. And I was talking about uh, the channel, and I was talking about. We'll do more of those types of videos. I've got some more planned, some history type ones. I'm going to do on Christmas Eve. I'm going to do a live stream here from the house and an update on the man, man cave tour that I did. So, man cave Christmas um, with a sort of Christmas message. And I'll get the little log burner going out there before I go out because it's going to be a little bit nippy. And uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. I thought it might be quite nice. So, if you fancy joining me for a little while, I'm only doing about half an hour streams each time I do them. But as I said on that first video, because I'm out and about now for my health, for, for you know the for getting better and that kind of thing, if I'm out and about anyway, I might as well, you know, why not stream it as I go? Chat about stuff. People have asked, can I do more of my rants? <laughs> I can. Of course I can. Um, there's a few things I was thinking, actually. I was kind of making a list of videos I could do. People have asked if I can have a, if I can have a video on the, uh, the the new camper van. I said before it's not a full camper van with the the pop top, um, but it's I think they call it a day van. It's got a fold out bed and stuff inside it, and at the back it's got a, a slide pod. And but yeah, so I can do that. I'll do one of those. And again, they'll be there. If you want to watch them, you can watch them. If you don't want to watch them, you don't have to. Um, I also talked about on my first one about where I used to work at the Royal Mail Depot in Ascot Road in Watford and how that's now been changed to a Morrison's and the next door was some printers where my dad used to work and that's now been built on um, what I lovingly refer to as the Nakatomi building <laughs> the Nakatomi but it's, it's very strange and I can have um, when I do the video on that I'm, I'm going to rant because it really annoys me um, I'm not going to go into detail about it now but controversy time I don't know if I've, I've mentioned this before in previous years when we getting into Christmas Myself and Mrs. City P in the evenings will sit and watch various different things, we'll binge watch programmes. And I manage, to, she gets a choice of a, of a series and we'll watch it, and then I get a choice and we kind of bounce about and bounce and forwards. And I watched um, the series Lost in Space recently. Three series of it, and I loved it, I thought it was brilliant. Now it's not her cup of tea really, but I thought, I'll oh, chance me arm, you know, we'll get her to watch it, and she loved it, she really did. There's a new series out called Tulsa with um, Sylvester Stallone which we started watching. That's a weekly one, though. We've caught up with where it was. Loving that. And then she said, oh, you know, we're getting near to Christmas now. We'll make a list of all the Christmas films, because the kids are old now. They don't tend to sit and watch films with us like they used to. 
we'll sit and watch some of the Christmas films work our way through. The first one, Mississippi Pizza, was Die Hard. And it causes, I didn't realise what a furore it causes that people are so anti-Die Hard being a Christmas film. So, we watched it last night, the girls had all been out. It was my son's birthday yesterday, he was 22, scary. Um, so they'd all gone out for drinks with my son for his birthday. And they came back and Silly G came in and said, oh, why are you watching this? I said, it's a Christmas film. She says, well, no, it's not. Said, okay. Let's have this conversation. It's sensible and, and, and debate. Let me know what you think. Do you think it is or it isn't? Anyway, so um, what, it's not a Christmas film, is it? It's an action film. It's, I said, okay, so when's it set? So Christmas. I said, when specifically? Christmas Eve. Right. Are there Christmas decorations and stuff in it? Yeah. I said, right. And there's a Christmas party and there's all the... Right. So, but it's about a, like a, a like terrorists and a robbery and I said, okay. I said, now talk about Home Alone. Think about Home Alone. Quintessential Christmas film. I know it's a little bit different, but basic premise. When's it set? Christmas. Are there Christmas decorations and stuff? Yes, and there's Christmas music. Absolutely, the same as Die Hard. What happens in the film? It's about two burglars that are doing a robbery. What's the difference? I ask. I know it's going to cause a lot of people to get quite angry, but you know, it's so one of those things. It, for, for us, for me, it's always been one of those. Yeah, of course, it's a Christmas film. You get to watch Die Hard again, which is great. No tree stumps. What is going on? Actually, this field isn't. Uh, I might be lucky if I get a cotton bale. I might get a couple. You never know. Maybe a little bit more. It looks so different. I can't honestly. It's one of those weird things, isn't it? Whenever you do a map where you're doing forestry and you open up forestry to then do farming. Who knew? Eh? Who knew? Farming on Silver Run. I know there are some farm fields I could have bought. But the whole reason for doing this was it was, I say, fairly flat. We've got a little bit of a slope on here, but compared to a lot of it. And uh, when I think about when we came over here and we started to clear it, and we had the cable yarder and the beaverator, and we were doing the small trees, and we were doing the wood chipping, and we were getting rid of the trees, and I've done a couple of full loads. It looks so different. Very cool. Ten past two. So what we will do, this will really shift in reverse, 31 miles now, then we go forwards. We, oh, we can get a little bit of a, a, little bit of a wheelie, nothing too crazy. Um, let's check the weather because I am curious. Is it still saying, it's now saying 4 o'clock. Did it say 4 o'clock before? I'm sure it said 3 o'clock before. Okay, we've got a little bit of time. Plummet, the, the plummet does temperature. The temperature plummets, so plummets, from 8 degrees down to minus 1. Minus two, minus three, four, five, six, and then December two, four degrees with a low of minus ten. Yeah, so uh, we'll see. I'll see you when this is cleared, and then what I'll do is, um, I, I think I'm going to leave. I'm going to lease the devourer because we've got a, we've got a great demand. Oh, is that a stump? Did we find? Oh no, what's that? There's something there. There's a lump, but no stump showing through. That's strange. There's definitely something there. I'll have to check that. There might be a stump. I'll get rid of those two trees. Because we've got a great demand on wood chips, I might use the devourer and do one full load of wood chips. Might get rid of a couple of trees. If you haven't seen it being used before, it's a good way and a quick way of getting rid of the deadwood trees as well. You can cut them down and, and I've just been grabbing the ones that I had on this plot and I've just been taking them over to the little sawmill. Like I said, there's, there's hardly any wood chips in them, there's hardly any value to them, worth to them, but it gets them out of the way. I've grabbed myself a devourer. This has a 50,000 litre capacity of its own. So, coupled with the trailer, it's not realistic, obviously. I mean, if, if you use it as just a blower, you can get it with no capacity, which means it will act just like, like a blower, really. Um, but if you get it with capacity, it will hold a load as well. I'm going to clear those couple of trees, and I'm going to do... I think I'll do... I'll do one full load just to use it. We've only got that little bit to do. I'm going to try and find... Where is that bump in the field? It's over here somewhere, wasn't it? It's very strange. Where is it? Here. There's a stump there. Oh, what's there? It's very odd. 
Who knows? This field is going to need liming. Um, yeah, so this day is going to need liming, so I'm going to do that before we finish. I'll still do this, but actually I think I'll do that as well. These don't produce any wood chips, I don't think. No. Perhaps there was another one of these somewhere, wasn't there, that I was hoping to get rid of. What was it? I was just out on the edge there. Yeah, maybe. Um, so I can get on with doing those. Um, but yeah, I've got lime, haven't I? I've got my beef braids, so I've switched over to doing lime. So I've, got, I've done it, I've got a bucket full of lime. So we'll get a fertiliser lime spreader. I'll lime first, then we'll fertilise, then I can get on with getting the uh, plants done. I might do the planting in the next episode. I suppose I could extend this out a bit further as well. This will get rid of everything. So all those logs that are on the floor, I can wood chip those with this as well. Like I said, if you've seen my Western Wilds, you've seen... Um, I used it a lot on... Uh, Attingham Park on FS90. Some of the trees, you get way more wood chips and others this will do all of your unusual shaped trees as well so not just your sort of standard size ones I guess. see that one yeah that was a huge amount in that should we do that one next to it and it, yeah it's just for the, the awkward ones that the tree harvester won't use as they won't cut as well you can just get rid of them you know to miss these when I went around and did the rounds before, clearing them all, putting them into that little uh, log loader. Turning circle is oh, that's why it's not too bad. I was going to say it's not so great on this, but it's actually all right. Right, that'll do. I'll get these over to the fire department, get rid of all that. Before I do that, I'll plough this, and then we'll go and get ourselves a fertiliser and lime spreader. I'll go and grab the lime from the... Whoa, whoa okay. From the beef rater. Wow, I did not like that at all. Now create fields. What I can do is come alongside here, I'm taking a couple of those out, go just a little bit more that way. A little bit it didn't like just over here. Try coming this in the other direction. There we go. Right, pop that up. Uh, so we'll put that off the side of the field. I still need to put in a shelter, actually. Or maybe I could put that between those two buildings. Like I said, I've got all this new machinery and equipment. I've got a very small shelter up on the hill next to my cabin, but don't actually have a shelter for all of my forestry gear, my lorries and all that kind of stuff. So potentially, I could fit one in the gap there, maybe. I'd probably just go for one of the standard metal shelters. I wouldn't go for anything crazy. Actually, what have I got available? Let's have a look. 
under our sheds. Some of these are so expensive, aren't they? What have I got? These sheds, they work. There's nothing wrong with those at all. She don't know. There we go, that one there, the vehicle shelter. I use that a lot on Western Wilds because it works. I'm not saying it overlaps. Why is that? If nothing comes off the back of there. I mean, that could fit in that gap. Might be better off that way around, actually, for driving stuff in. I could put one there. Just thinking, have I got room up here? Not really. Not without it overlapping. Or well, maybe we could get it just in there. Will that squeak in if I come back that way a little bit? The track I made myself, no, it's really not. Or that way around, maybe. Yeah, I can. I would either think. I'm not sh quite sure where I want to put that, but we'll put one in. So I've got a lot of my machinery uh, and equipment all needs repair. That was on the showing that's the trailer needs repair I think all of them I've got quite a few hours on a lot of the stuff now so it's all going to need a little bit of a uh, little bit of work no nope, didn't like that at all nope still not <laughs> should have swung out wider around the junction Now the same with this, like anything else I use or have used or do use with the tractor, you can go with that with the lower um, horsepower and the lower speed. With the, the devourer, again, you don't have to use them. If, if you're not happy about the fact I've used them, that's fine. You, you know, everyone's entitled to their opinion. If you don't like the fact I have, if you don't have to like it, you don't have to use it. These things are available, they are there. back the trailer I can go back out to the liming but as it stands at the moment I've got the lime in a bucket come on mate hurry up ain't you got home to go to that there. Attach that there. I'm just going to go for a standard one. Uh, nothing too crazy. No. We want... Where are we? Fertilizer spreaders. Probably just that. The Amazon ZATS. 3,200 litres. I'm going to need more than that. Liming. Yeah, possibly. I might go for that one then. 4,000 litre. Might need to refill it. But once I've done that, I can then do the fertilising. So that'll work. We'll whiz over to the beaverator. Like I said, I do have a bucket full. Warning high speed lunatic. Now, to be fair, my TLX, um, the Phoenix, has got fairly high speed. I've got, I've got that knocked down to if I hire a worker or I, I put the cruise control on it, it doesn't go up to the maximum speed. I find these can get a little bit um, difficult to control at high speed. So I'm going to come on there. I said I'll see you later and then didn't know. Cool. 
suppose I could have just brought the wheel loader over. Can I? Actually, that will fill that twice perfectly. Sometimes it's like I know what I'm doing. Who would have thought it possible? I'm going to tip this all over the floor now. Hopefully not. I mean, realistically, I would have done that. So that, that. That, that. I think it's where we've settled. Is it 242 metres? I'm trying to remember. And then we'll whiz out uh, our special route. Once the trees start to grow along here, all the trees are put along, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to do this. I'm not sure how close we came to the road. We actually didn't come too close to the railway track, did we, with the trees we planted? So actually we might still be alright for this little route through. It's just get, cutting through the gap between our saplings. I'm going to go straight across the middle here, just so I can get myself an idea of the width. Oh, yeah, we're good. Also, we are going to get through it pretty quickly. I might have to buy some, I'm just thinking. I've got some stone left, but not, oh, I don't know though, not a huge amount. Let's swing out now. Ah, oh, we might be alright. Fertiliser I am going to have to buy though, because I don't have any fertiliser, I haven't been producing any with anything. Look mum, I'm doing real farming. Farming stuff. It's not all just trees. Whoa. That was close. Oh, look, I missed a bit. Got too excited. Right, I've run out. We should have enough to do the last bit. Yeah, I've done way over half that field. So that's where I'm going to end. We've cleared a load. We've done some lining. We've done some wood chipping. We've sold some logs. We've built a floor factory. Uh, we've got a new tractor. We've done a whole load of stuff. Slightly off-piste, but all good. And we did it all before the snow came. Which is also good. Uh, next episode, I'm trying to think now, we get to a point, I think, where we might, oh no, I need to buy, I've got enough money to do it, actually. I still haven't bought the high lift, have I? The old 200 high lift. Maybe next episode. The flooring factory I wanted to get in, that wasn't, a, that wasn't a purchase I was thinking about doing, and then what I'll do is I'll keep doing my logging and stuff, and we'll start looking at production chains in the town, what other ones we can buy and what other things. Now we've got the faster plank production. We can look at um, what other ones we can do. There we go. So I can set this off again and do the next load. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.